what to expect from the Denver Nuggets next season. Sing that shit. <laughs> But before I hop right into it, I'd like to give a shout out to the sponsor of this video, SeatGeek. Now, I know you guys have already heard of this app, but if you haven't, I would highly recommend that you go check it out. SeatGeek is an app that takes all the confusion out of buying a ticket. Be it a game, concert, Broadway show, whatever the occasion may be, they got you. And they even give you a out of 10 score on each ticket to know if you're getting a good or a bad deal. Green good, red bad. And if you're still kind of iffy iffy on it, if you use my promo code Modern Hoops, you'll get $20 off your first purchase. And there will be a link to it in the description box below and remember if you use my promo code modern hoops you will get twenty dollars off your first purchase so go check them out so the nuggets has had a really productive offseason this year with unexpected signings re-signing trades clearing cap space and all that good stuff and heading into the offseason this year i really wanted to focus on our defense because i'm gonna be honest our defense the past few seasons has been absolutely atrocious terrible like 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 phoenix sun's bad smart wide open coming back to him wide open Horford will try Well, maybe not that bad, but last year we were the 26th worst defensive rating in the league, and you know, that's still on par with teams like the Kings and the Nets, and when you're in the stack Western Conference, you gotta be able to play at least some sort of defense. So coming into the offseason, I thought the best move going forward would be to go after some defensive-minded players like Marcus Smart or, or Avery Bradley or maybe other Lens Noel. You know, just some good defensive guys to add into the rotation, although that's not a exactly what happened but i would have considered this offseason to be a complete failure we were able to resign some major pieces like nikola Jokic, who is the foundation of this team and will barton who is another major piece to this team and we also got extremely lucky in the nba draft by obtaining michael porter jr who i was extremely high on and still is of course at a young age you never want to hear a player suffer from back injuries but i did make a video explaining the back injury and the severity of it so if you want to go check it out link to it will be in the description box below but as i was saying when healthy he could have easily been the number one pick in this year's nba draft this guy is just pouring with a lot of talent and his skill sets does fit this team's needs we also got jared vanderbilt who has some potential as well and moving on we were also able to clear some cap space and we were also able to sign isaiah thomas who's coming in with a chip on his shoulder so once again i would have considered this offseason to be a major failure being that we didn't really get any defensive minded guys but heading into the next nba season with the new acquisitions and with the development of our young core bottom line is i fully expect us to make the playoffs next season and if we don't i will consider the season to be a failure because looking at this team and where we're at that should be our next goal because we already have a lot of proven players and we also have the talent and just looking at the past two seasons alone we only missed the playoffs by one game just one game and last season we won 46 games and it came down to one game against the Minnesota Timberwolves that even went into overtime and even though Nikola Jokic had an amazing game you know we still ended up taking the L and you know it sucked because we fought extremely hard and we also dealt with some injuries to some of our key guys like Paul Millsap who missed 44 games and we definitely could have really used his defense throughout the season you know he was one of our defensive anchors if not our main defensive anchor and that's the main reason why we signed him to that max contract he never got enough time to mesh well with the team and you also had Gary Harris who missed a lot of the time towards the end of the season also but I'm not as mad as I was before because that L that we took led to us getting Michael Porter Jr. So I ain't really complaining as much. But with that being said, I believe that next season is going to be our season where we finally make the jump and make the playoffs. And I believe we have the potential to be a top five seed in the Western Conference. Now, I understand that the West has gotten immensely stronger this offseason. Like, there's actually going to be at least 10 to 12 teams competing for a playoff spot. Like, that's insane. It's about to be a battle royale, especially with LeBron James joining in the mix. But once again, yeah, the West has gotten a lot better. But let's not act like we didn't get any better. Also, with the talent that we 
added this offseason and just looking at our offense and how it's gonna be next season we have a starting five who can all space the floor i'm talking about a starting five where everyone shoots over 35 percent from the three-point line besides paul Millsap, who actually shot 34.5 percent from the three-point line last season but once again keep in mind he did miss a lot of games so he didn't really get a chance to find a rhythm and also understand the three-point game is something that he added into his game he's not really known as a three-point shooter and not to mention we also have isaiah thomas coming off the bench and let's say he does come back at 100 percent that's just another major offensive weapon we can use coming off the bench and i can't even imagine what we could look like with a healthy michael porter jr and if he starts we would have one of the best young starting fives in the nba you know jamal murray gary harris michael porter jr paul Millsaps, and nikola Jokic. and on top of all of that our offense or michael malone's offensive scheme is similar to the likes of the warriors where there's a lot of passing ball movement backdoor cuts floor spacing up tempo screenings scoring off the fast break lobs and all that great stuff and i mentioned this before that's what makes nikola Jokic so dangerous especially in this offense with his playmaking ability and i'm also expecting a breakout season from him also especially after signing that max contract and i'm also expecting a big season from gary harris as well so i believe our offense will be up there with teams like the warriors and the rockets and you know the raptors i mean not to mention we were a top five offensive team last season so the potential for us offensively is gonna be insane and you know it's gonna be exciting to watch George here we go step back three oh. Oh, oh, oh. he got it 1.4 we are tied what a shot by George point four in regulation Jokic Harris good if it goes Now time to talk about our kryptonite, defense. Now the main thing really holding us back from being among the best teams in the NBA is our defense and it has been pretty bad for the past few seasons. But I will say this, there is potential for us to be a average defensive team in the NBA. Now one guy I haven't really been talking about is Michael Porter Jr. Now reports have come out stating that Michael Porter Jr. could actually play next season if he's 100% healthy of course so if that's truly the case then he could help this team out immensely and you know a lot of people like to talk about how great he is offensively which he is you know the man could do it all on that end of the floor can score from anywhere and against anybody but one aspect of his game that not a lot of people talk about is his defense now I'm not saying he's this elite defensive player but he is a great defensive player nonetheless and has shown signs to be a great shot blocker as well you know he's just an extremely long and lengthy guy that could disrupt a lot of shots in the nba and we could really use his presence especially on the defensive end of the floor so you know we'll have a nice defensive core of gary harris michael porter jr and paul Millsap. now I'm not saying we're gonna be this elite defensive team in the NBA, but if we were at least able to bring it up to league average, I think that's all we need due to the fact that we already have such a potent offense. So of course, until Michael Porter Jr. does come back, we will be starting Will Barton at the small forward position after losing Wilson Chandler. And yeah, he is a nice two-way wing player, but I feel like he will be too undersized and overwhelmed against the taller forwards in the NBA. But if everything does go right with the development of our young core and you know if we're able to stay healthy and if Michael Porter Jr. does come back a hundred percent I think we have the potential of being a top five seed in the Western Conference next season but it all depends on our defense and we gotta break a lot of our bad defensive habits now of course I don't want to rush Michael Porter Jr. back but if he doesn't come back we still have a great defensive anchor in Paul Millsap who will help us with our bad defensive habits especially with Nikola Jokic and before he got injured the Nuggets had a decent defensive rating last season and if he's healthy we could really use his defensive presence on 
on the court next season so overall the nuggets are going to be a exciting team to watch next season and i expect them to be competitive and to try and make the playoffs next season especially after how close we came the past two seasons and i'm also expecting a breakout season from nikola Jokic as well especially after signing that max contract and i'm also expecting a big season from gary harris as well so once again, this team is going to be extremely fun to watch next season. And yeah, the West is going to be a lot tougher, but I feel like we have the talent to keep up. With that being said, that is all I got for you guys today. And to all my Nugget fans out there, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. Do you think we have a shot at making the playoffs or not? And what do you expect from the Nuggets next season? But with that being said, if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, share, and subscribe for more NBA content. With that being said, I hope you guys have an amazing day, and I'll see you all later. Peace.